by a young upstart, and it's, uh, it's Tom Ingram, and uh, this is a replay. Just uh, Tordoff was just turning in across the front of Neil. They both got away with it, but slipping up the inside, Adam Morgan, Tom Ingram, and then I didn't see if there was contact with Newsham, but, oh, well, that's hit the, that's hit the wall. I don't know how that happened. There was some gravel. Oh, uh, Warren Scott's lost it. We've seen that so many times, haven't we? From the VWs, oh. and then just coming up the inside, Martin Depper. Um, yeah. Just gets behind the lighter cars. So you've got Plato from Shedden and from Priya. A contact there as Smith and Goff come to blows, and Aaron Smith gets shoveled onto the grass on the outside of Graham Hill Bend. He's back on track. Watching the distance, the car going through the gravel. That's Plato. He tries to keep it going. No way could he do it. The front splitter digs in. Another one. He's just run wide. Now, usually the cars get through there, but suddenly it just digs in. The watch, the splitter catches. Boff, he's buried. And round the outside comes Sam Tordoff in the BMW, but Jack Goff hangs on to third place. But look at Austin, he's gone already. Great start. Oh, we got one of the uh, BMWs off. That's Collard, our first race winner. What a disappointment for him. This is hugely important to him. Well, now they've both cleared uh, uh, Rob Austin. Oh, and now comes through Jordan as well. Oh, they're running wide, they're running wide. Will they get back on the track? Puncture for Jordan. Yeah, you're Andrew's right. got a puncture. That's why he couldn't turn, presumably. Yeah, yeah you're right. But seven tenths of a second separated them onto the lap. Now, this was Jordan. There's the contact. Yeah, I think the puncture came at the contact. Yeah. Bob is ahead of Jack Goff now. And this is Aidan Moffat, who was wrong coming into shots, and it got no better. Well, no, but fortunately, he didn't go off. The Honda is the one to watch. They've both gone ahead of Jordan. Matt Neal to the outside. They lean on each other. He's across the curb, across the gravel. Here comes Matt Neal. Take that, Adam Morgan. He gets fired towards the grass. As well, and he's not done yet as Morgan again. Thinks about the inside, gets into the back of Jordan, gets him all sideways. Is that a save from Andrew? It is. Collard's got the momentum. He goes round the outside. Jordan's right up behind him, trying to go back on the inside of Collard, and he does so, and here comes Plato. Jordan's off the road. Plato round the outside of Collard. The Volkswagen gets his nose in front as they start the last lap of the race. Aaron Smith is thoroughly enjoying it, isn't he? Oh, look at this! Attempt by Matt Neal to get back up the inside. Oh, and that's there's a touch there, and Jordan's lost two places. That was all pretty robust stuff, and it's Andrew Jordan that's come off worse, and now Tordoff is in strife. He and Goff get together. They're both off. One in the gravel, one in the tyres, and so Tordoff facing the wrong way. Jack Goff's done it this time. He's managed it. He's timed it to perfection that time. Aaron Smith takes over the lead. There's a bit of bumping, and Josh Cook's off, and Aaron Smith is off as well. That's going to put Collard in the lead. Smith back on the road and off the road again. Cars are going to scatter everywhere. Smith hanging on to a real moment. The on-track drama commenced in qualifying when an unfortunate incident between the Ford Focus of Mike Bushell and the Toyota Avensis of Simon Belcher forced both drivers out of the weekend's action. The two cars touched as Bushell's AMD machine left the pit lane, with Belcher coming past on a timed flyer and the end result was a high-speed smash into the barrier. That tussle came to an abrupt end on lap 7, when Neil's Civic Type R made contact with the Team BMR machine at the complex. It was a heavy hit, and one that forced Neil into retirement. Into the top six! Replay of Kieran Gallagher having a big old lose. At church corner, yeah. and fortunately just staying to the outside. And then... To the inside. Yes, he comes across the road. Order is going to shuffle accordingly, and this is the replay of when the tyre goes pop. Yeah. Whoa. Well, a great save. Um, he'd rather have not had to do that. Collard grabs the lead round the outside. Can he hang on to it? Yes, he can. And Prio spins on cold tyres, and off goes Adam Morgan in avoidance. A big, big grassy moment for the Mercedes. Radiator fills with grass. Prio's back in the right direction, amazingly. And everybody continues with Rob Collard leading from Jason Plato. But that was a big scare for everybody behind Prio. And look, Josh Cook has managed to pick up one of the double up hoardings. It's wrapped round the front of the car. Prio's off again. Up at the complex, Stuart Lyons has got involved in all of that as well. Now, have a look at this at the start. Prio in the middle. There was a tap from Adam Morgan. And round goes the BM. Yeah, fortunately, he managed to do a 360 and keep going. But it was the others taking avoiding action that hit the advertising organs. Look at that. Oh. And then, of course, Prio has further strife up at the complex. He's got going. 
And let's see, because as everybody files into the corner, again, he's sideways, and Scott and Stuart Lyons have just got nowhere to go. The radio messages will be going out. Adam Morgan will be absent. Oh, we've got an accident, Connell. Aidan Moffat off the road. Don't get collected by anybody. Oh, just gets back on. Onto Lakeside straight, and that's Stuart Lyons, who has crashed at Pitt in. He's got it wrong somehow, coming out of Deer Lee. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what happened there, whether there's contact to turn Stuart Lyons round it. Stuart walking away from the car, and uh, the Midlander new to the championship this year then. Let's have a look at what happened. Contact with Alex Martin. Oh, oh. Blimey. Cool. That's Mike Bushell and Druids getting it wrong through the gravel onto the grass, hooks first gear into the top ten now. And there, Tom Ingram alongside Aidan Moffat. And at the inside comes Martin Depper, who tags Moffat, who slides out wide. And Martin Depper goes through. Kieran Gallagher, Toyota comes into Ireland Ben Hindley to get out of the way of the race leaders, shed and he's closed. But Creo oh. makes contact with Collard, broken suspension. Broken suspension for Rod Collard at the hairpin, and his race is. And he's done it, he's at the inside, he's ahead, forces Matt Neal out wide and they lean on each other, there's no love lost after Donington, don't forget. Side of Turkington, do they both get through safely? They do, they're still level and off goes Alex Martin, off goes Aidan Moffat. Drama at the first corner, somewhere in the dust corner is a Mercedes, there it is. Well, Andy Jordan with rear suspension, toe link broken on the left rear, that's him out of this race with no points. He hasn't continued the form that he took through Alton Park. Clearly, a oh, there was a little touch and going through tower, broke the rear touch. And that's Alex Martin off with substantial damage front and rear. He's in the tyres, he's got... And this is how he got off the road in the first place. It was another brush with Aaron Smith, was it? Well, he was with Smith and then Moffat there. And bang, that was a fair old... Strengths and weaknesses in different parts of the corner. This is... Josh Cook. Oh. Oh. Fair old impact, driver's side as well. Yeah, it was, that would have hurt. It looked like he might even have had a puncture or something because he just couldn't slow the car down and get it turned. Maybe he had a puncture on that left front. Alongside him is Smith, Jason Plato, third bodywork goes flying with the damage. BMW Collard has got damage already, and that's really going to compromise things as they head up towards Montreal. It's still turning to just ahead, but Smith goes round the outside as one of the motor base falls on the grass in the background. This is a real pinch point. Are they all going to get through safely? No, because Collard's in more strife. The days when they jumped ahead, there's Collard, he has made it. Because, oh, and it was his teammate, so it was torn off that ran into the back of Collard. Versus Shed and Plus 75 with Jackson plus 45 joining in as well. And look at that, Warren Scott way up onto two wheels coming through. The triple 80. Oh, we've had an accident with uh, uh, Lines and Hamilton. Um, I hope that's not at his corner, but there's some serious damage to the front yeah. there. He likes to do about this. Here is the answer. Oh, dear. With some force, Nicholas Hamilton. Yeah, that's off. that's coming out of the hairpin, I think, uh, Agostini, isn't it? The middle sector on the lap, yellow flags in that sector. There is Nicholas Hamilton, he's okay, he's out of the car. And the marshal's helping him away, but those yellow flags, of course. You've also got Jason Plato trying to gain ground. Prio's on the outside, Jack Goff has lost out a little bit already. There's contact lower down the order, Barry Horn is off, and Collard is off as well, and Stuart Lyons is off. Three cars have left the road at Riches, and I think Collard has come off worse once more. Yes, he has. This yeah. is a day to forget. The amount has been happening. This was Aaron Smith's problems to begin with. He already had the incident that broke the suspension, so he was off the road anyway, but... Aaron Smith, I'm afraid, with big, big problems from earlier on. And the replays from the opening lap. That was Gordon Shedden going off, but from that angle, hard to see exactly who it was that um, did the assist. Yeah, I couldn't see which car was behind. Here we go. This is a, a later Newsham. shot. That was Newsham getting turned around. Yeah. Down towards Riches. Around the outside comes Mike Bushell in the red and black forward look, whoops, contact, so Bushel gets sideways and then clatters into Depper, that's why Depper pitted, oh. Jackson's up the inside, is he going to be able to go through, not there, Hunter Abbott tries to get up the inside, there's contact, James Cole gets sideways, he gets fired off under the grass on the outside, and this race to uh, close up, Morgan running a little oh. bit wide because he's sideways and he's way out into the weeds, Jordan's going to get past him, Jackson's going to get past him, Morgan demolishes the as he gets back onto the circuit, up the inside goes Rob Austin, 
and Matt Neal is behind, and so is Dave Newsham with us all. They work their way. Oh, there's contact, Abbott sideways. Collard was involved. Newsham has to take evasive action, and he's all over the grass. But Hunter Abbott was sideways. Ahead of fellow BMW man Sam Tordoff with Jackson third, and Knock Hill specialist Rob Collard in fourth. As an attempted move by the MG of Jack Goff, sent local young pretender Aidan Moffat into a spin, although the Scotsman's day was to take a number of twists and turns before the final chequered flag. As the race reached... Turkington's got the inside completely covered. Prio's gone round the outside. Is he going to try and go, oh, no? No, Turkington couldn't get the car stopped, really, I think. Difficult to tell whether he couldn't stop the car or Prio came... Good drive. Oh! Well, Andy wasn't alongside there to stick the nose in, really, and Moffat has better drive out the corner, but Moffat is already steering to the inside, so really, Prio is driving into the back of him. And Collard oh, out no. of the race as well now. Two West Surrey yeah. BMWs out in successive laps. There's Moffat, then Prio. Oh, oh suddenly Collard just snapped sideways, doesn't uh, he? Something went there. Broken, something it? went on the, on the right rear. Yeah, something just went. So the gap 2.3 is now 2.1. Stuart Lyons was given an assist by Derek Palmer there, going into Dean. That is house. And Alex Martin was involved with him. One bit of contact, two bits of contact. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. The unfortunate thing is that he's hit that concrete wall, and that concrete wall does not move a single millimetre. So it's compressed the rear of the car. It's just a. I don't think Kieran realised that um, Alex Martin was on his inside because off the road, look at the background has gone. Dave Newsham, he's in the tyres. And With he's got broken, broken rear suspension on the left yeah. hand side, look. So I guess he's had some contact and then couldn't turn the car in. Indeed, but he does get it going. And is this the answer? Nick Foster is yeah. involved in that. Yeah. Through turn one, Ingram leads the way, cuts across as Plato dives on the inside for second. Jack Goff gets turned around, he slithers out wide. Everybody else gets through. Jack Goff hopefully can rejoin by heading up towards the completion of lap one. And Tom Ingram, it will be, who will lead them through as Hunter Abbott is coming under attack from Dave Newsham. Derek Palmer up the inside, Newsham is sideways. Martin Depper, I think, got into the back of him as the leaders come through. Let's try and piece together the first few corners. That was what accounted for Jack Goff. Yeah, three into one, doesn't go. Another touch there, Hunter Abbott and uh, Dan Welch. A brief safety car period cooled things off as Mike Bushell's Ford was beached in the gravel, but it wasn't long before the flat-out action resumed. If he hangs on to this, it'll be his best ever result. A replay of dramas up at Dean, oh, heading towards Dean. Dan Welch in the wall, I'm afraid the Proton rattles into the concrete. That will pull off the circuit and bring out a yellow flag. Down the inside comes Cook. Gets up the inside of Jackson and a spin because Moffat gets hit by Hunter Abbott by the look of it. Off they have both gone. Turkington all on the medium tyre. This, this is, is why we had the uh, yellow flag. Yeah. Stuart Lyons has gone through and into shot comes Nick Hamilton backwards. Indeed so. And this is a look at what happened on the run down Wellington straight the first time. Very crowded house indeed and Aidan Moffat gets a tag really is very hard to come back from in the championship because it costs you two races yeah. you know we've seen that it costs you two races oh hamilton on the start finish line yes got tagged or something miss ends up going round on the grass does he miss everything or only a light graze the safety car was deployed moments later after hunter abbott and dan welch had a coming together Having started right at the back, Jackson leads the race. Smith is second, then it's Morgan in third spot as they turn their way through Hawthorne. But Jason Plato then up ahead of Shannon and off the road goes Dave Newsham through the gravel into the tyres. Oh, and, and, and Alex Martin Whoa. going off. Oh, and that's a hard hit. Definitely safety car is going to have to come out soon, uh, but they will race until they get to the safety car uh, boards. And this was how Stuart Lyons ended up in the gravel. This is. Going into 30s, Tony Gillam is behind, but Stewart just running in too wide. Uh, didn't get the car slowed down enough for the no. corner, really. <laughs> and, uh, just Oh, and Jeff Smith's gone off. 
Uh, that looks like the exit of Sheen Curve again. That's it's a blind right hand, a great corner when you get it wrong, but uh, very punishing when you don't. But that gap that, uh, here we see a replay. Oh, he turned in on the grass. Well, that isn't the way to do it. Right. Uh, and lucky to stay out of the barriers. Look, he lights up the front. Goff on the inside. Newsham in the yellow Chevrolet on the outside. The Power Max Racing, a big off at the end of the lap. There's an Audi in the dust, and there's another car off the road as well. It wasn't long before the safety car was on track once again as three cars ended up in the gravel at Clearways with Martin Depper, Rob Austin and Derek Palmer all out of the running. For the third time on finals day, the safety car had to be deployed following a lap one off as Ingram and Jake Hill ended up in the gravel at Druids. And there was to be more drama as twice when the race resumed, drivers made mistakes on cold tyres and ended up in the gravel at Clearways.